Hey, what's up? I lost a hundred pounds from age 17 to, I don't know, 21, 22. Now that took a lot longer than I would have liked, but most people can't lose 10 pounds, let alone a hundred. So it's being a bit hard on myself. But if I did know then what I know now, it would have been like two years or less. Now the catalyst for that was I had a friend who told me he lost 90 pounds. So. When I heard that this guy who's not an actor or a model or a rich guy, he lost all this weight. I knew if I don't do it, that's all on me because it's very possible. So I did all this exercise, started counting my calories, all that kind of stuff. Then I eventually went from 244 pounds to 144. Then I gained some weight because my goals changed. I got more into powerlifting, a bit of bodybuilding before that and gained more weight. Now, right now I'm like at 168 something like that, right? So overall like 80 pounds down. But basically I lost 100 pounds and I only gained it. I only gained some back on purpose to line up with the, another goal that I had. So pretty much I lost 100 pounds and kept it off via discipline and knowledge. Now, these days I have no chance of going back to that weight of 244. That's never happening again. And I make it very easy for myself to keep that weight off. How do I do that? Well, a couple things. One of the biggest things is nutrition, all right? If you really care about controlling your weight, whether it's lowering it or raising it, you pretty much need to count your calories. There are ways that you don't need to keep track of them and you can still make the progress, but level on a thermodynamic level, your body needs to have less calories than it requires to maintain it. That way it will basically shrink, okay? So calories need to be counted, whether it's by your body or by your brain. In one way, it needs to be counted, right? So for me, the two, two of the three biggest helps, two of the three biggest things that help me are this digital scale and this big ass phone that is purely meant for calorie counting. I'm talking, there's nothing on here, but the calorie tracking app. What I do is I leave this scale on my kitchen counter. Anytime I'm eating, anytime I'm cooking something, I weigh everything on here. And guess what's also on my kitchen counter? This big thing. This is an old phone of mine that has a 13,000 milliamp hour battery, which means that since I only use it for this calorie tracking, it lasts like, I don't know, like a month or something like that. So. I have these two devices on my kitchen counter that help me keep track of my weight at all times. So when I'm consuming food, I know how much I'm consuming and I know how much, and I know what the effect will be on my body. Now, if I'm eating a bit much someday or whatever, I have to mark that down and I understand what I'm doing. And someday for whatever reason, it's not feasible or anything to track that day. Well, that day's fucked. I understand that. But keeping those tools in my kitchen where I eat things every single day helps me keep track of the long-term stuff. It's not just about, oh, I fucked up one day. That means the other 364 days of the year that I kept track are useless. That's not how it works. Okay, if you are, are unable to do something one day or fuck up a couple days here and there, I mean, it's not ideal, but it's not going to refer all your progress. That's a very silly mindset. And you have to get into the habit of mostly doing the good stuff because no one can be a hundred percent. So you have to mostly do this stuff. You have to keep things around you that help you accomplish your goals very easily. For me, that's those two tools. I weigh my food, track it. So I know exactly what's happening. I know what's going in. The other thing that's super helpful is I keep a gym bag in my car. So Anytime I'm out, anytime I want to go to the gym, I am basically set. Now, you do not need fitness to lose weight and keep off weight, but it really, really, really helps. It really helps in general. Not only if you build muscle or build strength and you're active, your maintenance amount of calories goes up, which means you're able to eat more without gaining weight because your body just needs more energy in general. But getting into that fit mindset and, you know, that routine of activity, 
it helps you overall think i don't feel like eating a shit ton every single day you know i'm gonna feel a bit full when i go to the gym and you know this isn't really fuel for what i'm trying to do with exercise it helps you mentally to you know not gorge and eat a whole bunch of garbage it helps in, in that sense and yes with fitness you can brute force some weight loss if you want to for me when i was losing weight the first out of the hundred the first 40 pounds that i lost was pure exercise because I didn't really change what I was eating, but I introduced a buttload of exercise and that helped me lose a lot of weight. However, that was a very, very inefficient way to do it. That's why I say it was brute forcing my way there. I wasn't doing it in a way that it was uh, sustainable or helpful. If I started counting my calories from the very beginning, those 40 pounds would not have taken that long. I would have lost them in like one fourth of the time frame. To give you an example as well. I did the insanity workout from beach body fitness which is just insane just jumping all this calisthenic sh shit this hit train all, all this wild shit it was truly insane and it was about i forget six to eight weeks of doing that wild stuff i think five days a week i don't think it was six it was five days a week six to eight weeks wild body weight jumping calisthenic cardio stuff right guess how much i lost guess how much weight i lost doing all that stuff two pounds okay two pounds now my legs were thick i was stronger i had more energy but when i look at the scale i'm like oh my god oh my god i wasted so much time because i didn't understand the time that fitness or rather exercise is not the number one thing to lose weight it is keeping track of the energy that your body needs to begin with it's a lot easier make this comparison you eat a bunch of garbage and then you run for two hours to kind of burn that garbage away. That's one option. Other option, eat less or none of that garbage to begin with. Same exact thing on your body. Thermodynamic. Now, of course, the ideal thing would be to not eat the garbage and then also run, maybe not for two hours, but you know, just uh, to stack the good stuff. That would be great, right? So while fitness and exercise is not necessary to lose weight 100% is not you should still do it because it, it makes it easier to change these habits that you have and make it overall easy for you to lose weight if you have a habit of going to the gym or going to do exercise you have this mental familiarity with doing these things that may not be super fun but you know they're helpful for you and you make it a priority to do so same thing with the scale and the calorie tracking those things make it very easy. Every time I go to the kitchen to eat, they're right there. I have no excuse to not pull them out and keep track of what I'm doing. There's no excuse. If I don't do it, it's because I'm eating something I cannot track. It's like homemade something from something I didn't make or just, it's it's just, I don't know what the fuck. You know, it, it, there, there are different scenarios where you, you can't, but you can try your best, all right? You can guess what it is, look it up, whatever it is. But the point is you have to make the effort, all right? You have to make the effort to keep track of the intake and improve your fitness to facilitate those good habits. It does not need to be every single day, but it has to be most of the time. Otherwise, your body won't treat it as a habit. It'll treat it as a chore. And if your body treats health as a chore, you're not gonna make it. So do yourself a favor and create an environment where it's easy for you to actually keep up with this stuff. Keep the tracking stuff in the kitchen, keep the fitness stuff in the car, the scooter, whatever you got next to the door. Just make it easy for yourself. Make it easy for your future self to keep the weight off or keep up with that goal. That's basically how I lost 100 pounds and kept it off. I made sure everything around me supports that lifestyle that I want, AKA not being omega fat anymore. So do, do yourself that favor. You also some help with fitness, by the way. There's some stuff in the description you can check out. And if you want help with other shit, subscribe. And if you don't, bye.